Right, this song, actually a banger. I think that's what's really special about her, right? She really does well in any genre of music and she she's not afraid to like experiment with music, right? Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Perron, I hope that you're doing great. In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Rihanna's evolution of music from 2005 to 2022. We've done a couple of these for other artists, so if you wanna check that out, it should be on the channel. Yeah, I'm really excited to check this one out. I used to listen to quite a bit of Rihanna when I was younger, kind of like 2008, 2009. Uh, that's really where I think she really like blew up in those times. But uh, yeah, it was on the radio, it was everywhere. Obviously, I was like 10, 10 years old. So yeah, I'm going to be breaking this down for more of a music producer's perspective. Uh, obviously, these are going to be like 30 second clips. So I'm going to do my best to break those down. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out more videos like these, obviously check out the channel uh, or the playlist down in the description. And if you would like to support the channel additionally, you can check out the Patreon. That's kind of where I upload more videos. And yeah, let's get into it and see where Rihanna's music career started and where it's at now. All right. So we got released in 2005 wait this was her first song was that her actually first song that she released i remember that was such a banger obviously we kind of started with like the r&b style right She was kind of at the beginning all over the place with the genres, right? We kind of started with R&B, then she kind of it kind of sounded like she was experimenting with like songs that kind of Shakira did, more of like the exotic vibes um, in in the songs, right? With those uh, flutes and stuff. On Faithful, 2006. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think she settled uh, with R&B, right? Featuring Sean Paul. Oh my god, okay. Ooh, I really like what they did with this song. Panned her vocals all the way left and right. Uh, kind of kept her main vocal in the middle. Sounds very huge, uh, her vocals. Okay. All right, Umbrella, of course. I think that was the song that really blew up, right? This has got to be have like millions of views. Very catchy. Breaking dishes. Okay, that's a little bit different. We've got like a rock band in there and everything. Shut up and drive. Another classic. Her vocals are amazing though. I gotta give it up. And she's got a very specific voice. Um, very specific tone. And it works great in the songs, you know. More ballads? Okay. I don't think I've heard this one before. Okay. But it's really great how she can really mold into like different genres of music. Cause we've seen her in R&B, right? just now and now we're seeing more of like a rock pop sound right justin timberlake yeah more of ballad oh my god the vocal is crazy and i think because she was maybe more around like rappers and stuff like that a lot of her songs are going into rap uh, very quickly right because obviously now these days rap is like basically becoming pop most of the songs on the radio will have some kind of a rap in them i can see that rihanna really went into rap very early in like 2009 right we've so we've seen her uh, quite a bit of songs where she was uh i guess rapping But it's a nice mix of rapping and singing. Right, 
I the song with Eminem. Mm. Okay, and now we've got the EDM era that kind of came in around this era. I feel like she. I feel like Rihanna is really early into the genres that are popular, right? EDM really started being popular around 2012. And 2010, she's already doing it, you know? Oh, I had no idea that she did a song with Lonely Island. Okay. Mm-hmm, with David Guetta. She does really collaborate with a lot of people, right? Kanye West. Yeah, you can see like collaborating with rappers, collaborating with uh, EDM producers. Nicki Minaj. I think that's what really special about her, right? She really does well in any genre of music and she... She's not afraid to like experiment with music, right? Whoa, before you continue, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Only about 1% of the people watching these videos are subscribed. Also check out my Twitch and Discord down in the description. Bye. So that's why we're hearing anything from ballads like right now to like more of rock sounds, uh, EDM and rap, you know? Again, featuring uh, Nicki Minaj. And Calvin Harris again. Yeah, she's really doing everything. But I really like that she has like those meaningful songs with meaningful lyrics. And she also has those like little party songs that, you know, the lyrics don't really mean anything, right? I guess you can choose whatever your mood you're in and you can listen to it. Birthday cake. Oh, she made a song with Drake? Wow, okay. Rihanna and Coldplay. Those classic EDM drops that became really popular at that time. But I feel like this was like her time, right? Around this time from around, the, around 2008 to like. 14 maybe I don't think she releases that much music anymore I might be wrong mm. we are in future more like trap influenced hip hop. Okay. Woo. Oh my god, the vocals. Yeah, I don't think we have to I don't think we have to talk about how great her vocals are, right? I think everyone pretty know pretty much knows. Oh, Rihanna and Shakira. Okay. Mm -mm. What a crazy collab, what? Like I've heard most of these songs, but I didn't know the actual collaboration of the people. Cause her songs are being played in the radio all the time. You can't really escape. Right, this song, actually a banger. Mm hmm I remember when that one dropped, it was crazy. Everyone's singing it. She really does well with rap as well. I feel like kind of I kind of underestimated her. I thought she kinda of like, you know, didn't release that many songs after 2014 but she, 
she actually did. And <laughs> I just refreshed my memory by with this video. And uh, yeah, I, I remember now. She was still dropping bangers. Woo. A little like almost eight bit, uh, eight bit beat. Good night, got him. Not sure if I heard that one. Right, yeah. She really does work a lot of songs with Carvin Harris, what I've noticed. She really has a lot of bangers with Calvin Harris. Sledgehammer. And future, yeah. With Kendrick Lamar, okay. So yeah, she does really work with a lot of artists. I feel like I've done. I don't think I've seen any other artists who work with that many artists. And we got this song, which I haven't heard in 2020. So yeah, guys, there we had it. The evolution of uh, Rihanna's sound from 2005 to 2020. I know it's not the best you know it's not the most updated video because two years but yeah this really showed how much she progressed you know starting off with like experimenting with sounds uh i, I guess she kind of went with the r&b until like the uh, you know the beginning of the 2010s when she really went to like the edm which was very popular at the time and uh yeah she did rap from like really early on uh because most of artists now these days they you know, they rap because it's popular to have some sort of rap in their songs. But uh, she really did it way before any mainstream artist from pop, right, I guess, did. Yeah, just consistently amazing vocals and the way she, she works with these various artists and uh, is able to... Uh, is able to perform on different genres like that. It's just crazy, mind-blowing. And yeah, guys, if you want to see more videos like this, obviously click the links here and here. Click the videos here and here. Uh, for more videos from me. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my other YouTube channels, Twitch, Discord, and see you in the next one.